My name is Prince Manu Yeboa, the Executive Director of Roprin Company Limited. We are into promoting the value chain development of fruit and vegetables to meet the growing demand of the high-end markets. We're having about 20% of food service losses on all the produce that we were aggregating from, I mean, from farmers, from suppliers, and from our importers. Again, because of this challenge, we had to sometimes pay for the produce and leave it on the farm. And so farmers couldn't have their own land back as early as possible to grow the, the next cycle. We had a very small means of transport. And so trips we could do just once, we had to do like three times. There were times we uh, supplied in Accra and our products were rejected because of the means under which they were transported. Some of the areas that um, the project has impacted is on the post service losses where we've been able to manage um, from the 20% that we initially recorded now, we have about 5%. We're able to deliver a lot more um, product lines on a much faster pace. We are able to do volumes of product lines that we couldn't do because we were constrained by our transportation systems. And these products are able to move from Takrade in the right and appropriate conditions without it being rejected like we experienced. We've worked with Agri Impact and Fresh Logistics that were implementing a, pro a greenhouse project uh, together with Exim Bank, where we are offtaking from about 20 greenhouses in the western and central regions. And because of this van, we could easily move to the central regions, to the various sites, and offtake this produce and supply. So we're doing about 105,000 US dollars for um, an annual turnover, but now we are looking at 150,000 US dollars. And it's all because we had this support from Hortifresh. And we projected that farmers should be getting about 3,000 Ghana cities per annum from 2,000 to 3,000. But now some are doing about 9,000. I mean, in excess of 300% of our targets, which is very, very quite encouraging. Because of the post service training we've given them, the hitherto too, they bring in things that have a lot of bruises, we have not been managed and handled well, but now they are recording very significant volumes and most of the losses have been curtailed. Because we, were, we didn't have the capacity, in terms of storage capacity and the right conditions, the items are brought in and within two, three days, they are going bad. Okay, but now with the cold storage, cold chain storage, we have the right temperature to extend the shelf life of these products. Equally, when it comes to the delivery, it's also a cold refrigerated van. So at the point of dispatch to the point of delivery, the temperatures are maintained and you have the quality um, of the product line just as it was dispatched. As we had the opportunity to be part of the solar financing, where in, within the catchment area, we had two farmers that benefited, including Rupin ourselves. Heater two with a fuel pump, it takes about 20, 30 minutes to get water flowing onto the field. But with the solar energy systems, it takes a delay time of 30 seconds. When you compare the high prices of fuel, I mean, and it's increasing every now and then. It was quite challenging, but with this, we are not spending even one CD on, um, on our cost of fuel. Either two, we're spending about 600. Other aspect is our collaboration with Fidelity, where we have a tripartite arrangement together with our smallholder farmers who have been able to assess some funding and support. They couldn't have done it by themselves, but with the introduction of Water Fresh and with Rupin as the off-taker, there is some guarantee market, and so about seven of them have access to financing by way of irrigation support and input support. The Green Label certification of our packhouse, which was not initially part of the project, 
is even being considered. And I think that it's been approved. And from next week, the consultant is coming in to assess so that after having certified the farmers under Green Label, the facility itself can also be certified and we'll have our Green Label certification and our products on the shelves. Mm -hmm.